welcome back inside our Vancouver Proactive studio. And joining me on Skype right now is Jeff Foster, the Senior Vice President of Customer Service and Product Development for Capstone Turbine. And uh, Jeff, great to talk to you. How are you doing today? Very good. Great to talk to you, Steve. Well, we, uh, just, uh, you just released your financial numbers in the third quarter, and uh, the numbers were, were very good. So uh, let's just go over a couple of the, of the highlights of those numbers that you're most proud about. Sure. So uh, obviously gross margins were good, um, and uh, a lot of the, the, the parts of the company that you had really worked on over the last little while and you, in more of an integrated plan really started to show some success. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, about four years ago, we looked at the overall business for Capstone and, and made the strategic decision we needed to diversify uh, what we offered so that in the case of any uh, uh, downturns in any particular business segment, we'd be positioned to perform very well during those downturns. So uh, four years ago, we started to uh, rebuild our, or to build up our UK remanufacturing facility. Uh, it was a facility that previously had been a uh, field service hub uh, so over the course of the last three years, we've, we've built that up. Uh, and the goal of that is to reduce the shipping costs, improve service times, and obviously improve the margins of the business. So we're at the end of that process. Uh, we'll be complete this quarter, and we'll begin to see the improvements in the bottom line next quarter. So we're very proud of that. And you can sort of see by that as well, because your gross margins were uh, up 25%. So obviously it's starting to pay off already, and that's what you were hoping for, I would gather. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, if you look at our business, the aftermarket as a business sector was about a $24 million business uh, three or four years ago. Uh, year to date, we're sitting over $27 million in revenue. Uh, if you look four years ago, our margins were around 24, 25% gross margin in the aftermarket. Today, they're sitting uh, in the low 30s. Uh, and we have eyes on the uh, uh, low 40s to mid 40s uh, very shortly. Let's talk about a couple of aspects uh, that did, did quite well. FPP, tell me a bit about this and, and why this has is, is been doing so well. Sure, our, our FPP is our factory protection plan. So it's a long-term service agreement that we put in place generally uh, either as soon as a, a piece of equipment is commissioned or uh, immediately after sale, uh, bundled with the sale of the product. Uh, the intent of this is that uh, while we don't have a lot of maintenance requirements for our equipment due to the air bearings and the lack of any uh, lubricants, uh, the maintenance that we do have is critical. And we found that the overall availability of our products improves significantly when the maintenance is maintained. So by signing an FPP up front, uh, we guarantee that all the maintenance on the equipment occurs. We get better availability. And in the en energy business, availability is the name of the game. Uh, you know, we're proud of our low emissions uh, and the high reliability of our product, but customer availability of power is number one. Uh, in addition to that, from our business's perspective, the FPP is very predictable. Uh, over time, we have a large backlog. As of the end of last year, our backlog was about $84 million, uh, and that translates to revenues over the next five or six years. Uh, that becomes very predictable, high margin, recurring revenue that helps stabilize what can often be a, a, a lumpier aspects of some of the other markets for, for new product sales. And, and Jeff, how about the, the rental program as well? That's, that did well also. Sure. Uh, that, again, was uh, uh, laid out a couple years ago as a proactive response to an expected downturn in the uh, oil and gas industry. You know, there's a lot of uh, ambiguity in supply and demand in the oil and gas industry, and oil companies are very efficient in their uh, deployment of capital. So we expected that we'd see a downturn in some product sales uh, in that industry as those uh, customers look to um, uh, tighten up their capital spending. So we rolled out a rental program because we knew that they still needed the product, they needed the capability, and that gave them an easy way to, to do that. And so again, for us, it becomes recurring, uh, regular, high margin revenue uh, that we can count on for years to come. Jeff, are you most proud and, and the team most proud of the fact that, and you touched on it a little bit earlier, but I want to reiterate the point that, that by, by going through this strategic plan of the last couple of years, you've really set yourself up and the company up to do well in good times, but also make sure that you're doing well in poor times as well. Is that something you guys are most proud of? Yeah, we're very proud of that. And that, that goes 
across more than just the aftermarket portion of the business. It goes over the entire uh, capstone business model. So if you look at the last time we experienced some, uh, let's say, geopolitical macroeconomic shocks back in 2013 uh, with the downturn in the oil industry and some of the uh, geopolitical issues with Russia, uh, we were at that point very f uh, much less diversified than we are today. If you look at our business today, uh, across our product lines, we're selling into the energy efficiency market, even more into the renewable market, and we're less dependent on oil and gas market as a uh, core. But then in the aftermarket, uh, you know, we had a parts business and an FPP business that we really counted on in the past, but now we have the distributor support uh, portion of the business, we have the rentals, and so we're far more diversified, far more predictable, uh, with higher margin business that serves as the base for our plans going forward. Well, you can really see that in the numbers in the aftermarket growing by 20%. So it's uh, really strong numbers there. Jeff, thank you so much. Great to talk to you. Okay. It's great to talk to you. Thank you. All right. Jeff Foster, Senior Vice President of Customer Service and Product Development for Capstone Turbine.